<laughs> right, so just mute yourself, guys. And I'll just take my shoes off. I've got a little hole in my t shirt. You can't get stuck these days. And we'll start. Okie dokie. So let's just start with just some nice neck work then. That seems a good place to start. So keep the shoulders down. Really try and push your fingertips down towards your feet. Have a little bit of softness in the knee. If you want, you can always take a little seat. You know, don't kind of, you don't have to stand for doing this. And then just gently take the right ear to shoulder and back to centre. And the left ear down the right. Close your eyes and just really get in touch with your body. So where are you carrying the tension? Is it more through the lateral side of the left side of the neck or the right? Mine's right. And four more. Four. Three. It should start loosening a bit. Two. And one. And then back to centre and then protract and retract. Protract, which is the one we want to avoid to be fair in kind of everyday life. So you really want your ears kind of just above the shoulder, not in front. So as you come back, almost feel like you're giving yourself a little bit of a double chin. And you'll feel the neck lengthening. Two more. I always feel a bit of an idiot doing this. <laughs> Last one. And then take chin to chest. So when you do this one, really try and pull back and then take the chin down. This one I find really gets me almost into the top of that thoracic area as well. Don't worry so much about tucking the chin up. You want to try, if you can, to mobilise. I'll just mute the one who's not moving. You just want to try, if you can, to maybe do 10 in each direction. Sorry, guys, I'm just muting you, Lorraine. That's all good. If I can? Yeah, brilliant. Everyone else. Yeah, so there's no point stretching out the neck before you mobilise it. So the neck can obviously do lateral, it can do protraction, retraction, and now, and it can obviously do flexion extension. Now we're going to do rotation. So keep the chin parallel and then turn. And then back to centre. And the other way. One more. Close your eyes. So you'll notice when I turn my head to the left, I don't have as much control and it wants to flex my chin. So next, sometimes it's just tension muscular, other times with me it's been two accidents on it. But usually you can identify why you have certain here more on one side and then the last one and then go really easy on this one this can be where you get that bubble wrap position so chin to chest keep the chin down and then gently take it to the shoulder back again the other way oh, it feels particularly tight today Ooh. Some people like to take the head the whole way around, but just go easy if you are. I much prefer doing circles when my head is nice and rested on the mat or on the roller. So we might do these at the end as well. Do one more each side. Now I'm not expecting these to be particularly pleasant guys, so don't worry if you're thinking, oh god, my neck feels tight, mine 
these two. And then just hold, and then just take one hand on, and just, but we might keep away from weights actually today. We'll see. Just take the hand back, and then just gently take that right ear to shoulder, whichever this hand back ear to shoulder. Make sure the collarbones are not creeping forward, so try and keep that length. Can you take it up? Does it go in between the shoulder blades like that? And can we take it down? Pull back. Just do what you can. And then gently down, just go pull for little circles. And then back to centre, the other side. Again, hand back, pull the scapula together as you take that ear to shoulder. Take some deep breaths in. And again, you'll notice with this one, my internal rotation is not great on this side. It's nowhere near as good as the other one. Yeah, so just again, just notice. And again, you can usually have an indication as to why that is. Take that hand back down, do a couple of little circles with it. And then take both hands on and then just try and close your eyes, pull your scapula together. Let's really try and get in touch with our nervous system. Two more. Good, well done. Try and do everything if you can, if you feel safe with eyes closed. So take your can watch obviously first of all to see the move. Out, breast stroke it back, and then in. And then close eyes if you can. Just relax and then just rub. We've got lots of lymph, guys, you know, underneath kind of where our ear is. So, a really good thing is to rub and then tap and then circle. Yeah? So, rub. Really nice to do first thing on the morning. Tap and circle. Same with like underneath our, um, where our lymph node is under our arm as well. So, rub. Tap, circle. Try and get, do that if you can, morning and night. Then into your tummy as well, into your tummy button. Really press when you're doing it and circle round. Into your groin, into the back of the knees. Yeah, so that's a really good thing to do. So think about rubbing, tapping, circling. Yeah, so rubbing, tapping, and then really pushing and round. Try and get used to it. So neck, opposite, underneath, torso, tummy area, back of the knees, groin, and then we're just going to do this really quick thing for the lymph system now. So we're just going to bounce, really quick, bounce. So take your heels. Think of Tigger. Is it Tigger or just this? You've realised how kind of the calves kick in really, really quickly, really good for the lymphatic system. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done, I've done it this morning, my legs are tired. And then soften the knees, chin to chest, hips back, and again, do everything with real slow control today, gently down. Letting your arms and your head become really heavy. The sit bones reaching up to the ceiling, just hang there. You can have a little circle around if you want. Circle back. Soften the knees, gently up. 
and then to one side again a bit of softness in the knees chin to chest hips back and gently come down to one foot so just opening up the opposite side of the body take a beautiful breath in and out in and out last one breath in and gently up Beautiful, let's come to that other side and again soften the knees, chin to chest, let everything become really heavy. Open up the opposite side of the spine. Yeah, down again, notice how tight you might feel actually. Breath in and out. In. And out. Last one, breath in. And gently up. It's been really wet, hasn't it, guys? I've had lots of clients coming in just saying, oh, can we do lots of mobilisation, stretching? Joints are feeling pretty stiff. So let's just keep with that nice softness in the knees and let's just do four circles in one direction. For three. For two. For one, the other way, four, three, two, streaming of summer already, and one. Well done. And then just come into, and we're just going to do a little bit of strength, but keep working through our arms today, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. So, out. So we know this one. Hands up, over, back, and lower. And again, four more. Four. Three. I don't know if anyone sings Deb's Plaggy Bean. I don't know if you're Deb's for Facebook um, friend. But she's in Dubai at the minute. She was swimming with dolphins the other day. Two. And I've got a friend in South Africa who keeps sending me these beautiful pictures of elephants and zebras. Oh, I'll have to send you them. And they're giraffes. Oh, they're just gorgeous. And the other side. Last one. Well done, good, okay, bring it into us. So we've done our neck, so hopefully this should feel a little bit easier. Really feel that movement where you've got that length. And again, back up. You don't have to come up on your calf. I might not actually, so I've used my calves a bit today. So I'm just gonna keep my feet down, guys. One. Well done, and we'll just stretch that because you've no doubt done your calf stretches. Go calf raise, guys. Push that back heel into the mat. Really feel that stretch of the calf. Take some deep breaths in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. And out. Straighten that front leg, chin to chest, hips backwards, and again, just gently, gently floating down to stretch out the hamstrings. Again, don't force it, just go to where you feel comfortable, like maybe hands on the shin, not on the floor, let the head hang towards the knee. Just see if you can lift your toes up, guys. Just lift them up, 
spread them wide and then place them back on the floor and then see if you can keep one big toe down and then lift the other four toes and then lower and then the other way a bit harder lift the toe keep the four toes on the ground so lift the big toe so for me, much easier to lift the four toes and keep the big toe on the ground than it is to lift my big toe away. And then soften that front knee, bend it, and then gently come back up. Good, let's go to that other direction. So again, nice calf stretch. If you want a deeper stretch, go against the wall. Or imagine that you're pushing against the wall now. Drive that heel down, lengthening out through the calf muscle so we don't get spongy, horrible, inflamed tendons in the Achilles. Hold. My toenails desperately need doing. Take the hips back, chin to chest, then gently down. Try and keep all the toes on the ground when you're coming down. Either hands on, and then this side, see if you can do the same. So big toe down, lift the four toes. Take the four toes down. Yee. Come on. That one won't do it. I can't do it. It's really interesting. I can lift. <laughs> I can't keep the big toe on the Ah, there it is. It's done it now. Again. <laughs> no, I can't keep my four toes down and lift the big toe. And then bend the knee and gently, gently back up to centre position. Good. Well done. All right. Our toes are funny little things. We don't do enough with them. And then let's take it into some squats. So keep our shoulders down tight through the tummy. And we're just going to come down. And again, one to wall. Squats are great, but you need to eccentrically use your hamstrings as well. So we're going to do a little bit of hip extension work as well. Let's do 10. Let's do 9. Let's do 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. And then come over onto one foot, soften the knees. So I want you to normally point the foot, yeah? But I want you to flex the foot and I just want you to bring your leg into extension and then just point and flex, point, flex, point and try and just be in touch of what happens to the calf and the hamstring when you change the foot. Point it now, tuck the toe, a uh, toe, sorry, tuck the tailbone a little bit and then just pulse it, one, two, three, Four, so working the hamstrings, four, three, and the bum, two, one, and then hamstring curve, hold on to something, it doesn't have to be balanced, this, three, four, four, three, two, one. Not enough um, hamstring glute work in life. Take the gaze up, take a breath in. Heel down again, take a deep breath in through the nose. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Back to centre. Let's go that other way. So again, slight tucking of the tailbone. Just lift the leg. Hold on to something if you need. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Flex. Point. Lift up. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Hamstring curl. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Three, two, one, into a just a little bit of a balance, just well, just actually just take the calf down and then look up. Deep breath in. And out. Two more. Last one. Gently down, take that back leg longer, soften through the back knee. See if you can have a little balance. Well done. And then again, just drag the back heel down to the mat. We're going to come down in a second. We're just going to take our legs super wide. Heels, not heels, sorry. Yeah, heels slightly turned out. Feet slightly turned in. Apologies, I've got my bum to your chin to chest. And then just gently come down towards the floor. Just letting the head go to where it wants. You might not have hands down, guys. You might not have fingertips down. You might have palms. You might have forearms. Whatever is your range. If you can't get fingertips down, try and just take hold of the back of the legs and just have that lovely rocking forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards, releasing any tension. So don't force it down. If this feels too much with forearms down, take palms. If it feels too much with palms, take fingertips. And then just walk both hands round to one foot. Again, at the head hang. Beautiful. To the other side. Walk both hands to the middle. Start gently, gently bringing your feet in to centre. Soften the knees and gently, gently restack yourself back up. Ah, oh, very good. Okay, let's come down to the floor. If you've got a ball, guys, get your ball. So again, we're just Trying to work mainly through mobility, giving their messages to the brain, everything's nice and mobile, lubricated, but obviously we want to also work through our strength as well. So bridge is probably one of the best things for that. <clears throat> so I want you to keep your feet on the ground, lengthen through your collarbones, which should feel quite lengthen. We've done a little bit of stretching today. Try and keep your shoulder blades on the mat, chin to chest. You start in neutral, take a breath in through the nose. Little gentle roll into imprint. At the same time, think about squeezing the ball as you take your spine away, bone by bone. Sending the knees nice and long. Hold. Getting that strength posteriorly. And then slowly back down. Good, let's do two more. Let's take a breath in. Keep a squeeze on the ball. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. Slowly come up. Try and create a bit of a stretch for the hips. 
We're just going to slightly elevate the right hip bone and then bring it back. Slightly elevate the left, slightly elevate the right, the left, the right, the left, the right, the left. Take a breath in, slowly down. Last one. Roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting your bottom, lifting your lower back, the mid back. Send through the knees nice and long. Take the ball away. See if you can push the right foot into the mat. So keep the hips level. Lift the left leg. Just straighten it and bend. Straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And then kick it forward and in. Forward and in. Forward in, lower back down. Up, kick it up and bend. Forward, forward, forward. Take it down, take a breath in. Slowly down. Cross your ankles, bring your knees into chest. Beautiful. Just take your arms out to capital T. We'll start with legs on the floor, inner thighs together. Try and be neutral, so you've got that little gap underneath the lumbar spine, the ribs are together, pubic bone, hip bone, and the hips are level. Inhale, take the knees to the right, the head to the left. And exhale back to centre. Keep the core engaged in this one. Over, just notice how much tension you may have in the lower back. Draw the tummy back to centre. So again, inhale over. First time you do this, you can feel a little bit tender in the back. The more you do it, the easier it should get. If your back's a little bit tender today and that feels nice, then just continue with that core control, navel to spine with your feet on the ground. Listen to your body. Or you can do the same position with your legs in tabletop, again, everything connected. Draw the tummy in, rib cage closes. Remember, if you see in the back of the room, make sure you're doing a chin or you've got a little cushion. Glue the legs together if you can. Keep the core engaged. Inhale, take the knees to the right. Out breath as you straighten the legs. Inhale, bend the knees. Out breath, centre. The other way. You inhale as you take the knees over, head goes the other way, out breath, lengthen, really controlled, inhale, bend, every time you come back you should be in neutral spine. Do one more on each side. And relax, well done. Take the feet down, take the right leg long, left knee, uh, left foot, sorry, uh, <laughs> left foot over the right knee, and then just use the hand of it just to pull it over. Beautiful, back to centre, the other side, so just gently over, turn the head one way, use the hand to just pull. Everything's a bit right tight for me today. Just 
excuse me guys, I've got a little bit of pneumonia, a bit of catarrh, a little bit of chest. Right, centre. And then just take the soles of the feet together. I bought some bone broth the other day that a friend of mine's taken. It's supposed to be so amazing for you, but I had a feeling it'd be beautiful and it's mm, I'm not sure. I might have to put a teaspoon of that might in it or something. And then just gently up and down. Just relax. And then bring it back to centre. So we're our bridge position, we were there with our feet, we're walking the feet a little bit away. And we're to really think about that pelvic tilt. So give yourself some pelvic tilts, forward and back, forward and back. And then find that midway and really work on keeping that mid position. Pubic bone, belly button, hip bones level. Ribs are in and down, a little gap underneath the lumbar spine. Take your fingers, interlink your fingers, thumbs into the nape of the neck. Think about your pelvic floor muscles. So imagine you're just drawing, I don't know, a coffee bean up inside you, anything that connects that core. Chin to chest, lift for one, lift for two, lift for three. Make sure you've not squashed that little gap. And then draw one, two back down. Lift for one, lift for two, lift for three. Lower down, one, two. And again, exhale up, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two. And again. Lower, one, two. So try and keep your head up all the time. Eight singles, but high and halfway down. Lift up. Two, make sure your elbows are keeping in the peripheral. Three, that'll keep the collarbones wide. Eight more. Eight. Seven. as we can keep it on the mat and then this little gap before we get to our bottom and then again take your hands interlink your fingers just bring the elbows around your head and then really bring them out and keep them there chin to chest draw that little bean up inside you again and then lift one two three exactly the same with the straight leg lower one two Lift, one, two, three. So we're trying to keep that rib cage closed. One, two. If you bring your head back down on the mat, one, two, three, then sometimes that can happen. So it becomes a little bit of a push and a pull, and we don't want that. So again, eight more. Eight, seven, six. Gently back down. Take your arms out to capital T. Bring your legs back in. Just take a couple more supine spine stretches to release the back. Gosh, it's going quick today. Always goes quick this class. And then let's come over to do a little bit of lengthening and strengthening. So bend your bottom knee, find that really nice stability through the pelvis, lift up the bottom waist, keep everything connected, point the foot, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. And 
when the storms come in, Finley's gone to work, the Jim Mason's working in Whitby today, my brother's on a cruise. And he's taking Finn to help him clear some rubbish. <laughs> and the premise of the promise of fish and chips at the coast. And five more, five. Oh, they've booked a holiday, Mason June, Friday morning. Six o'clock, they fly out of Leeds Bradford, come back late Monday night. So like three and a half days, all inclusive, turkey, 350 quid each. And I'm going to try and get Finn on with him if I can. Two. So if you want in a cheap holiday, guys, it's five star all inclusive as well. Forward and back. Kids today, they do eight weeks of work and they need a holiday. And again, five more, five. Or due to this, my ad and my mum said it is dad. Three, two, I'm used to always going close. And hold, circle for four, circle for three. I don't know if it's because I'm getting over a cold, but everything feels hard to do. Four the other way, four, three, two, and one. Well done, just Pull that heel into bottom. Take a nice breath in, really stretching through the quads. Lovely deep breaths, guys. And then just before we do that glute stretch, keep the leg like that so we're not externally rotating it. The thigh's in line with the hip bone. You've still got that gap lift. And just drop and lift for 10. For nine, they're quite hard these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, straight onto your backs. So let's just take it into figure four. My glutes feel really, really tight today. So I'm just leaving my foot down, but as always guys, you can lift that foot up. Just think about pushing the knee away. Gently, just take the feet either side and then the leg that you've just been lifting and lowering, just gently take it in as well. So in and then in again. And then let's grab hold of your band lovelies, which hopefully you've all got. And take it around the foot of the leg that you've been lifting and lowering. And we're just going to bend the knee. In neutral spine, and we're just going to straighten it. We're going to bend, we're going to straighten. We're going to bend, we're going to straighten. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up, turn the foot in and out. In. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Then flex, point, flex, point, flex, point, flex. Bend in the other hand, gently in. Turn your head the other way as we gently bring that leg over. You might just want to hold it there or you might want to take it all the way into that more the sacroiliac joint area stretch. Gently back to centre. Out the other way. I always seem to have my uh, massage bed out. I'm just going to switch my bed on actually, guys. So I've got a guy coming in at uh, uh, 2 o'clock. I want it nice and warm. 
Well done. Okay, let's just gently, gently turn over onto our other side to strengthen that side. So again, try and just really find that position where you feel really strong through your pelvis. Have a little rock around, lift up the bottom waist, lengthen the top leg and we're going to lift. And low. Remember, we're not lifting like this. Yeah, so we can lift relatively high, but as long as you make sure that you keep that bottom waist lifted and we're not dropping the waist down. Hold, flex, drop, lift, drop. Woohoo! God, it was hard this morning. And then just pull it in, take a breath in. Well done. And then in line with the hip bone, we're going to drop and lift. Drop, lift. Drop, lift. For five, for four, for three, fill that booty two. Done, straight onto your back again. Keep your band close at hand, guys. Just take it into figure four stretch. Let the uh, leg go away from the body. Take a nice breath in. And out. In. And out. Two more. Grab your bend, take the leg again, try and be neutral if you can. Don't, it's not about having your leg right up here somewhere. It's about keeping the leg nice and straight. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend, straighten. Three, two, one, hold, turn the foot in, and out, in, just notice how one leg, my left one felt fine in this, but my right side of my whole body's just tight enough this week for some reason, I have had a bit of an ear thing, so just feel like where the tension is, notice how tight the leg can be when you turn that foot in or out, hold the stretch, and then either just bring it into that sciatic nerve stretch, turning your head the other way, or bring it all the way down to the body, uh, to the floor. Again, take a beautiful breath in. Soften the front knee, just gently up. And bring it all the way out, even though I don't have to bring it out. Well done. Excellent. Okay, lovelies, let's jump on your roller if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. We're just going to do a little bit, not much. 
just a little bit more of um, abdominal work. So you can obviously do it on the floor. And then we're just going to do a little bit of neck. I'm just going to move a little bit closer to you guys so I can move my arms a little bit more freely. I hope you can still see me. So when if you are getting on the roller, we've stretched our neck. So hopefully the collarbone should feel nice and long. But you can just give yourself a little bit of a side to side again. And then just the chin to chest, collarbones wide, ribcage closed, little gap underneath the lumbar spine. We're just doing 16 singles. That's all. If you want to do eight on one side and just work on keeping that core super stable, then you can, or double leg, 16. Remember, whatever position you start in, that neutral spine, that little black, black little gap underneath your lumbar, it shouldn't be increasing or decreasing when we take the leg in and out. Ten more. Ten. Nine. Eight. Jeremy's coming tomorrow, uh, Kirsty. Can't remember if he's coming for a one to one hour massage. This is Kirsty and I have got a friend who moved into their new house, I think, yesterday. And again, we've got four more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. One foot down, the other foot down. Give yourself a really good pelvic release. So really forward and back and then just find a really nice position and we're just going to take it into our shoulder work so imagine you're just picking an apple off of a tree so protract retract protract retract protract retract protract retract keep your arms a little bit wide so you're not closing the collarbones um, and the pec muscles and then just come back Nice and slow. Again, just go to your own range. And then on the next one, into helicopter if it feels good. If it bothers you, just go into your scissor. Four in one direction or eight alternate if you're doing it with me. down by your kind of side, so knee, shoulders, and then just take both hands forward, bring them back, and then just one at a time. Notice how one may go down much better than the other, and this is all to do with that. You remember on my right side, I didn't have the same internal rotation, so it's all that kind of thing. And then just relax. <sighs> and then come off your rollers and just come over onto your front and we're just going to try and just take our hands a little bit further forward like this as though we're doing a push up flatten your feet just see if you've got the strength to bring your elbows backwards and your chest to the ground and then reach up into that upward dog don't worry if you haven't just take it straight into a shell stretch take a breath in and then just come back into a shell stretch And then back to center. 
going to tuck your toes, walk your hands back, take it into, well not too much, take it into a cow pose, and then cat, and then cow, and then cat, back to centre. Tuck the toes, take your hips up nice and high, walk the heels down, have that little bounce in action and then hold the heels to the floor. Soften the knees, walk your hands back, gently up and then just take the hands behind the back and squeeze your scapula together. Take a little bit of a chin down, opening up the chest a little bit more. And then the other way, round in the back. And bring the feet back together. And then just oval. And then we'll just see what our balance is like. So all we're going to do is just take our foot, our foot on our inner calf, just hold. back, one final roll down on this side, left knee, work out, last one, left knee, gently up, Let's go to the other side. So again, just leg, foot into the inner. Just hold. Balance feels good. It's usually an indication that your body's enjoyed what you've just done. If you're all wobbling, then I need to go back to the teaching guide <laughs> and then take it up. Take it in, hips back, and final slow roll down, weight to the front. Left knee. Last one, breath in. And then softly up. And as always, thank you all.